Testing. Microphones. Okay. Well, hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Hello. Hello over there. Hi. Okay, we are like, uh, we have 10 already connects. Let's, well, I hope the other ones are going to get connected through through the class because nobody has sent me a message in order to know what is going on with with you. Guy, it is a pleasure to see you again. I hope you have had a wonderful weekend. I hope you have gone to the beach and enjoyed the, the whole weekend. <laughs> in order to recover the whole energies that they're going to need for this week. And remember guys, this is going to be the last week. This week is the last one. And that's why we need to have the, the whole exercise, the whole thing that we have to do in the platform. And, and la, as I was telling you, the last class, uh, that won't be a problem if you already complete or you already finished the whole section in the platform. No, you don't have to worry about it if you already finished. You just only have to worry about if you hadn't done nothing because that, that really might be a problem. But we're going to still working on the exercise that you already complete. If in this case, you already finished the platform and don't worry about that. We still have some day we have today and the day after tomorrow and the following three more days. Okay, let's see what we have for today. Let me see. Okay, right here, chairs. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, let me see. Ta -da -da. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys. Uh, Maria Magdalena, I don't know what is going on with your camera. The same case with, okay, thank you. Elena Marisol, let's see who else. Uh, Rosibela Ines, I don't know what is going on with your camera. Okay. Mm. Uh, because I have a problem with myself. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Lena. Thanks for letting me know that. Okay, guys, uh, the topic that we have for today, it's I don't like working on weekends. I think that nobody likes work on weekends, but uh, according with the job that you have, you maybe have to do it for there are some cases in that we want. And this case, we have the 10 hottest jobs in the United States. Which one we have? We have, uh, okay, expected number of new jobs in 1994 and 2005. Ah, those are those uh, old data. Now we have a, a new data, but we are work based on this one. What about the teachers? Or, the highest in the case of north executives computers analysts truck driver social worker lawyer financial manager computer engineer and accountant those are the 10 hottest jobs in the united states yeah and not even in the u.s even here in in, in the latin america and even here in our country in El Salvador, teacher, we work a lot. Even I have to spend some time during the weekend in order to complete the, some things that are missing uh, for, in this case, for my school or for uh, working with you guys or with, the, or with the one who I work on Saturday. I have like a few time like a, for going out and enjoy my, my free time. I don't see that right now. I don't have too much time, but maybe on December that that is going to to change. 
because I, that is going to be a whole month uh, of vacation for for me. And the north, yeah, that, that is also an, another one that it is like a very heavy job. They don't have like a some specific schedule in order to complete or or finish the executives. Mm. They have to accommodate to the other one's schedule. Computer and analysts. In El Salvador, I, I don't, we have computer analysts right here, but it is the same uh, in the systems. I don't know if, if this one apply with it, with the one that we have here in El Salvador. Okay, but it's like the computer analyst, truck driver. Yeah, it is like also another uh, heavy job. And because they have to spend like uh, for 10 to 12 hours uh, driving. Okay, let me see. Uh, what about social, oh, social workers? Social workers are the famous TikTokers, are famous YouTubers. All of those guys that they just only do funny thing. Well, in this in the case of the lawyers in our country, they also have like a another type of schedule. Financial managers, uh, from Monday to Saturday, I think. The computer engineer apply the same schedule, and the accountant from Monday to to Saturday. Okay. Talk about this question and complete the task. Does any one of this information surprise you? Why? Guy, do you think this information surprise you or not? In this case, what might be a surprise for you? Do you think in this case, uh, the highest one in this case are, is, sorry, for teacher? Uh, this is, this graphic, it is surprise for you or, or it's not? It has nothing surprises, right? Okay, what jobs do you think are hot in your country? Are the same as the jobs above? Okay, guy, which, what jobs do you think are hot in our country? In our country. Here in El Salvador, guy, which job do you consider are hot? Another what to teacher, the teacher. Yeah, teacher. We and uh, what else? What I think else? that uh, everything about the social media, or marketing, or community management manager. Oh yeah, social media, financial managers. Yeah, even if um, they don't have like a specific schedule in order to work, they can work on um, during the weekend or during the the whole week or the whole month. Yeah, they don't have like a strong exactly uh, schedule like. Uh, the, the one who works at office. Yeah, because if when you work at office, you have like a, one specific schedule from Monday to to Saturday. Uh, Silvia, in this case, do you work until Saturday or you just work from Monday to Friday? Yes, I work on Saturday, but I work uh, from home. Ah, you, you do home office. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's great doing home office. <laughs> yeah, it's like me uh, at night doing home office. <laughs> that's that's better in my case because you are at home. <laughs> okay. Um, guys, who else wants to help me? Hello, Christian. How are you? Hey, Christian. Hello, teacher. Hello, Christian. Christian, you were paying attention about what we were talking about, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, Christian, what jobs do you think are hot here in our country? 
Mm -hmm. Here we have the graphic. We start here from teacher and we end with the content. I mm -hmm. think uh, teacher is very popular. No. Mm -hmm. so, um, computer engineer. Yeah, the computer engineers. Yeah. Yes, because when the people uh, have to go to the university, they choose, a lot of people choose computer engineering and teacher. Oh, yeah. Even the schedule for the people who works and they want to continue studying at the university, the majority of that people, they want to study on weekends, during the weekend. And during the weekend, it's Saturday and, and Sunday, right? And because from Monday to Friday, the majority of, of them, they have like a very busy schedule at work. That's why some of, um, some of them, they prefer only the weekend schedule in order for going at the university. The schedule you were mentioning the 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 computer engineers, right? Yeah. Uh, and the computer analysts, I think it might be the same. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. We say um okay, ranks the job from the most interesting to the least interesting guys. Which one do you consider might be the most interesting and the least interesting from the one that we have here in, in, in the chart? Mm -hmm. The more interesting, which one might be? The most interesting. From the 10, from the 10 that we have here, which one do you consider the most interesting? Mm -hmm. Nobody, let me see. Me. Okay. Maybe about this time is social worker and, and the less interesting, I think that accountant. Okay, the less interesting. Uh, and when we are talking about interesting, it is the thing that the people call the attention. And in the case of the content, not all the people like number and math. That's why it is not like a, something interesting for the majority of the people. It, uh, there are just a few, the only one who, who likes or who wants to start in a county. Yeah, that's that might be the another good reason thank you let's see what we have right here okay guys we have a conversation a conversation between brad and sue just two per just two people and he said any interesting jobs listing on the internet today well there are a lot of retail jobs selling clothes and stuff but you have to work saturday and sunday Mm, I hate working on weekends. Mm, so do I. Oh, there's a job in sales. It's a job selling children's book to bookstores. That sounds interesting. Yeah, let's see. You need to have a driver's license and you have to work from, oh, you have to work some evenings. Oh, I don't mind working even in, during the week. And, I enjoy driving, so that what the phone number it's seven nine eight three four five five. Okay, who would like to help me with this conversation? In this case, I would like a a boy or in a girl. Oh, and the guys, where are, where are you guys? Oh, Carlos is the only one. <laughs> Carlos David, hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Carlos and, and Elena. Carlos, you're going to be Brad and Elena Marisol Peralta is going to be Sue. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. now. Uh, okay, guys, let's start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's start. Any interesting jobs, Lisa? 
listed. On the uh -huh. Listed on the internet today. Well, there are a lot of retail jobs. A screen, a screen clothes, and a Se selling clothes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Selling clothes and a stuff. A but stuff. You have to work uh -huh. Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Mm, I hate working on weekends. Mm, so do I. Oh, here's a job in sales. It's, it's a job selling ch children's book to booker, bookers. That sounds interesting. 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 Okay, thank you. Yeah. Let's see. You need to have a driver's license, license, and mm -hmm. you have to wear some evenings. Evenings, okay. I don't mind. I don't mind working evenings during the week. Um, and I enjoy driving. So, what's the phone number? It's seven eight eight. No. Seven nine eight mm -hmm. three four five five. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Let's see what else. Let's see what else we have right here. Yeah. Oh Lourdes. Hello Lourdes. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are Fine. you, Lourdes? Okay, thank you. I'm it good. is it is glad to see you. Uh Lourdes, would you like to help us for today's class? Yes. Okay, okay. You are going to be Sue. Okay. And Olga Lisette Valdez, how are you? How are you? Okay, Olga. Olga, you want to help me? <laughs> you you can make it bigger. Okay, oh. we're going uh, okay, we're going to change. Uh, Chrissy is going to help you instead of you. Chrissy, you are going to be brave. Uh, Olga, in, maybe in the in the next uh, slide, uh, you maybe fix the, the problem with the image that, that you have, right? Okay. Okay. Chrissy, you're going to be Brad, and Lourdes is going to be Sue. Let's start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Any interesting job listed on the internet today? Well, there are not, there are a lot of re, retail, 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 retail huh? jobs, selling clothes and stuff, but you have to work Saturday and Sunday. Um, I hate working on weekends. Um, so do I. Oh. Here's a job in sales. It's a it's a job selling children books to bookstores. That's so interesting. Yeah, let's see. You need to have a driver's li license. 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 Uh -huh, okay. and, you, and you have to work some evening. Evenings. I don't mind. I don't mind working evenings during the week, and I enjoy driving. So, what's the phone number? It's seven nine eight three four um, five 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 five. <laughs> no, 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 high, no high five. Five five. High five. High five. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember high five? High five was like a. The popular uh, uh, social media that we used to have like a long time ago. Remember, remember that, right? Hey, you have a five, high five. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, yeah. And after that, uh, uh, we have. Uh, I think after high five, we have Facebook, right? After 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 high high five. Yeah, I remember, and even I think that I still remember my my profile on high five but I, I think that 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 website already disappeared <laughs> but it was interesting uh, at that time having wife having high five wi-fi 
<laughs> okay, let's see. I want two more participants after we move to our next presentation. What else want to help me for today? Okay, Liliana Dolores. Okay, thank you. You're going to be Brad and who else? Let me see who else. Gabriela Noemi. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Gabriela. Do you want to help me today? <laughs> yes. Being Sue. Okay, you're going to be Sue. Okay, let's start the count of three. One, two, and three. Any interesting jobs listed on the internet today? Well, there are a lot of written jobs, selling clothes and stuff, but you oh, have uh -huh. to work. Excuse? No, 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 continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to work Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, Saturday mm. and Sunday. I had working on weekends. Mm, so do I. Oh, here's a job in silence. It's a job selling children's books to bookstores. That sounds interesting. Yeah, let's see. You need to have a driver's license and you have to work some evenings. I don't mean to work in everything during the weekend. And I, I just. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. I, I, he... I, I, don't, I don't mind. <laughs> okay. Working evenings during the weekend. And I enjoy driving. So, what's the phone number? Driving. 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 It's, oh. it's 7983455. 3455. Five. Five. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now we are going to move uh, and see what else we have in our next slide, guys. It's number two, the one that we have here. Oh, well, let me see. I think that there are missing some of you. Uh oh, Magdalena, you're missing. You 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 haven't participated today. Okay, Ma 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 Maria Magdalena, you're going to be Brad, and who else is going to help you for today? Let me see who okay. who else. Uh, oh, who 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 raised the hand? Who you said, Chrissy? Saul, vi que había levantado la mano. Yeah, oh, teacher. What are you? Hi, teacher. Okay, okay. Hi, hi, Saul. Okay, you're going to be Brad and, and Magdalena is going to be uh, Sue. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's start the count of three. One, two, and three. Any interesting job? Listen on the internet today. Well, there are a lot of nef, nef jobs selling. Uh, Maria, well, there. Well, well. well, there. Well, there are a lot of retail. Uh, retail jobs. Retail, retail jobs selling clothes and stuff, but you have to work Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. Mm, I hate working on weekends. Mm, I do I okay so, there's so, so do I so do I so do so, I so, so do I oh there's a job in selling it's a job selling children books to bookstore. That sounds interesting. Yeah, let's see you need to have a driving license and you have to go some evening i don't mind working evening during the week and enjoy driving so what's the phone number it's seven nine eight three four five five mm -hmm. okay thank you 
Thank you. Let's see the one who have the camera. A camera of uh, Elena Elena Marisol. I don't know what is uh, happening with your camera. Oh, sorry, you you were the one that the the, the right. Okay, but Miguel Antonio, you hadn't sent a message. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Uh, you were Miguel, I don't know what is going on with your in this case with your camera. Oh Silvia, you, you were missing, right? You were missing for today or so. Let me see right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. He's in the traffic. It's okay. Okay, Silvia, you're going to be Sue. And okay. let's and let's see who we um, then I, let's see. Who is missing? Catherine Marielos. Catherine Marielos, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Catherine, you are going to be Brad in this case. Okay. Okay, and... let's just let's just start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any interesting jobs listed on the internet today? Mm -hmm. Well, there are a lot of retail jobs selling clothes and stuff, but you have but you have to work Saturdays and Sunday. Uh -huh. mm, I had working on weekends. Mm, so do I. Oh, here's a job in sales. It's a job selling children books to bookstores. That sounds interesting. Yeah, let's see. You need to have a driving license. And you have to work some evening. I don't mean working evening during the week, early, and I enjoy driving. So, what's the phone number? It's seven nine eight three four five five. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Uh, yes. in, in this case, it's I, I don't, I don't, or, or I don't mind. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Working evenings during the week. I enjoy driving. So what's the phone number? Okay. What okay. else in, what was another work? We were having some problem. In, in this case, you said a good way. Interesting. Which one? Oh, we have another one. Retail jobs, retail jobs are listed. And those are like uh, the, some of the hard work that we have for, for today. But don't worry. Okay, guys, thank you for the participation. Now we're going to see what we have in order to work in our next slide. Oh, here we have the grammar focus. Grammar focus, gerunds, short responses, short responses. And let's see, I don't know what is happening with the internet. Uh, short responses. Affirmative statement with gerunds. Guys, what do you understand with gerunds? What it comes to your mind when someone is telling you about or asking for gerunds? Don't worry, just tell me whatever comes to your mind, even if you are wrong, don't worry about that. Teacher, I think uh, add uh, the verse ing. Mm, okay, Maria Magdalena is telling us, teacher, uh, in this case, what I see or what I'm observing is that that we have some verbs in ing form. Yeah, it is it is valid. It is valid, Maria. Uh, it might be also good. What else? Another ideas, guys, for this. 
Mm -hmm. You hadn't mentioned in something about the order, the order. Which one go first, which one go second, which one go third, and so. Mm -hmm. Pay attention right here. Gerons. We have affirmative statement with Gerons. Remember the short responses, guys. What do we mean when we we mention or we are talking about short responses? The same word is telling us that it is short, short, short response. Can you see one, two, three simple words. Well, in this case, just it is only a letter. <laughs> okay, affirmative statements with gerunds. We have affirmative statement and we have negative statements. We have the agree for, we have the disagree. What might be this one translated into Spanish, guy? Agree. De acuerdo. Mm -hmm. And what is disagree? And disacuerdo. Mm -hmm. Agree and disagree. Thank you. Thank you for the translation. And here we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, lovely, love, enjoy, be interesting in. Well, those ones are like uh, not common. Just we bring in, in this case, just like uh, some other one that we have. Okay, let's see what we have here. The first example. I like driving. What about in the agree way? So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I don't. How did it, how did it responding in the two four? They are responding, they are giving. How do you respond? With your responses. That is how we are responding to the question that we have with short responses. This is not a long response or it is not a long answer. If you see, it is a simple it is as simple like that. Sure, very sure. I like driving, so do I. Say the, the one who is agree. What about the other one that is disagree? Oh, I don't. What about the second one? I hate working on weekends, so do I. Really, I like it. Okay. I'm good at using computers. So am I. The one who is agree. What about the other one that is disagree? G or G, I not. Let's move to the section of the narrative statement. I don't I don't mind working evenings. Agree? Neither do I. What about disagree? Well, I do. <laughs> I'm not good at writing reports. Neither am I. Disagree? I am. I can't stand making mistakes. I think this happened to all of us. Uh, that we can stand making mistakes, but we are still making the mistakes. <laughs> what about the one that is agree? Neil, can I? Or the one that is disagree? Oh, I don't mind. Guys, please, we focus on these parts. What we have here at the beginning of the sentence, how, how do we call this? We call or how do we call this one? The famous I. It is or or what? Is a subject. Is or subject. 
Okay, thank you. It is also okay. Yeah, we are good. We are good. What else? Let's see. We have what we have after or subject. We have what? We have what? After the subject, what what goes after the subject? Mm -hmm. Is the bear. Is the bear. Okay, is the bear. First we have the subject. After the subject, we have the bear. Okay, we are good. But in this case, talking about gerus, what we have after this main bear. In this case, we, we are going to call it or main bear. And the next one, it is the bear, but in which form? It is in using a Jerome, Jerome, Jerome for what is the fame? What is the famous way of calling Jero? As simple like that, guys. The famous Jero, what is the famous Jero? It is the bear in the ING4. Teacher, what is the ING4? Okay. What is the base four of driving? The base four, the original four of this of this bear. Drive. 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 D R I B E. e. But well, in this case, we are talking about gerunds. In this structure, using gerunds, that bear is going to be chained with I N G. I N G. That is the famous gerund. Or some other people call it, or might understand by the four of the present progressive. But in this case, we are talking about the, the simple zero. That's the only thing what we are going to talk about. A simple like that, the only zero. What we have first, what we were mentioned that we have first. First, we have the, in the statement, what? What we have first in the statement, we have the? Subject. We have the subject. After that subject, what we have? Bear. Okay. The bear. The bear. This is the main bear. And after that main bear, we have another bear. Or our famous zero. But that zero is the bear adding ing to the base four of the bear. Remember that, that is the only thing that we are going to do. Change it to ING. What about in the section of agree and disagree? So do I. Translating into Spanish, how we call this? Yo igual, o igual yo. O yo también. Mm -hmm. That that that, that might be an, another way which can translate into Spanish. So do I. What you are trying to say, what are you trying to share or what you're trying to to understand with the answer in this way? That you are agree. You agree with that person that is sharing with you what it what this in this case he likes to do or what he prefers to do. In this case, and this person is telling off a lie driving. A lie driving. If you are agree with him, you are going to ask, so do I. What is the case that in, in which you are disagree with that person? Oh, I don't. I don't. In these cases, we are responding with agree or a disagree, but using short responses. 
teacher, but we might uh, respond or or we might answer using another long answer. You can you can you can do it, but in this case, just we are focused on short answer. We can also make or or answer long. Uh, and what about in the case of agree? We can make it longer. So do I, because when I was a kid, my father used to enjoy driving with me during the whole week. In that case, we are making like a long but very long answer. How, you see how those things might differ from, uh, from one to another one. And in the case of the short answer, also help us to be more understandable to the another person. In this way, we also don't confuse to the other one at the moment to re to respond to the to the question that uh, the some person is asking to us. Okay, let let's see our second exercise we have over here. I hate working on weekends. So do I. The short answer. What about the disagree? Really? I like it. Hey teacher, but what what the why the person is telling or saying, really I like it? Because like it, it doesn't sound like a something that it is in in disagree, it sounds more like a it is in agree. What might be the structure? for being agree with the person? Can someone mention it? What we have in common here? What do we have in common here? In the section of agree. What can, what can you see here, guys? What can you see right here? So, so what else? Do. <laughs> Do. <laughs> Do. What else? Sawyer? The subject. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the subject I. But in this case, the answer is it is in first person. That's why we are using I. But we can do it in like uh, talking about the third third person and we can say she likes driving and so so does she and uh, ella también le, le gusta translating into spanish but in this case just we are like a focus on the on the first person so does she so does he so do they so do we it is according how the question it is uh, it is uh, like uh, making to you in this case. Here we are asking you in first person. What is the first person? Is I. But we can talk like uh, in third person or in plural. But those in this case, it is going to change the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Do. Because do goes with I. If we, if we are talking about he or she, we are going to use does, does. In the case of I, remember we change it for am. You never gonna, you never gonna say, so do am I, no. That doesn't exist, okay. But teacher, but why, why we can tell it or why we can answer in that way, because here we have do and here we have I. Okay. This is, is the auxiliary for the one that we have here. But what is the key? I'm good at using computers because he keeps talking in first person. He keeps, he keeps. You see, I'm, in this case, I'm good at using computer. He's talking, or he's just making emphasis in himself. So, am I? He's asking another one. What about the disagree? He, I not. 
I know. That's the simple way to answer. I know. What about the negative statement with zeros? Teacher, what, what is the difference between the affirmative statement using gerunds and what is the difference about the negative statement using gerunds? Guys, what is the difference between the affirmative and the negative? Mm -hmm. Can someone tell me? It's because you done or not. Or? Done or not. Which one we have? What we have here? Can't. Oh, we have can't. Can. Can't. Those one, the three of them that we have here, that we have right here in the slide, uh, the three of them are negative. Of course, they are negative forms. They are negative forms. The one that we are using, we are talking about. In this case, the negative four. I don't mind working evenings. I don't. What is done? The contraction of do not. That is the that is the contraction. We can say even in, in another way. I do not mind working evenings. But in this case, we are we have the contraction for or the conjunction. We said, I don't mind working evenings. What might be in this case to respond in negative form? Neither do I. How, how, how can we might translate this into Spanish? Neither do I. Ni yo. Yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. Teacher, ah, now I understand. You said that we are talking about zero in, uh, in answer to that question in affirmative. We are going to use so. Do I or so do the they? Or so does she? Okay, that is for agreement. What is affirmative statement? But in the negative statement, this neither is always going to tell you that it, that, that person it is agree with you, but in a negative form. It is a, you agree with you in a negative form. How the, how the sentence said, I don't mind working on events. Neither do I. That person, it is agree with you because you are telling to him or you are talking to him about in a negative form. What about in the disagree form? Well, I do. Well, I do. What does it mean? That that person really likes working on evenings. That's why he's answering or responding in that way. Well, I do. What about the second one? I'm not good at writing reports. Neither am I. I um, mm -hmm. let's see the third one. I can stand making mistakes. Neither can I. It is the agreement for, but always in negative. What is the case of disagreement? Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. You see, guys, the Sylvia, uh, you raise your hands. Yes, because I have a question. Okay, uh, tell me. We can use, I agree, too. We, I agree. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand why, why, why you, you try to tell me. In this case, when someone is telling you, I like driving. I agree. I, but you, you might say, you might say in this way, mm -hmm. I, I'm agree with you. I am agree. Oh. I am agree with you. Not only you're going to use agree, or you, you can say I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. That is the same for in Spanish. I agree. But in this case, we're making emphasis to that specific person. 
I'm agree with you. I'm agree with you. When you are making emphasis. When you said just when you said in that way, I'm agree is like a Estoy de acuerdo. That's good. <laughs> the other four, I'm disagree. I disagree with that. I am disagree with the problem. I am with disagree with the with the work. But in this case, it might be also uh, useful as answering in that way. But in this case, we're focused on this specific structure, like so and mm -hmm. neither, because so it is telling you that you can answer in 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 a agree way. And you have also another way to answer in a disagree ways. What about hearing the negative statement? We focus on neither to mention an agreement, but in a negative form with that person. Because you what is what it is agree that you like or you feel good with another one opinions or the another one choice. That's that's why we call it an agree. Oh, the same happen in Spanish. Eh, estoy de acuerdo en lo que hizo, estoy de acuerdo en lo que dijo, estoy de acuerdo en lo que hiciste. The same happen in Spanish. And that's and that's why we're using this kind of structure here in English. You can use the like the whatever you want to use. But the most proper one or like a, the, the, the professional way in order to answer are those one. So do I in a in, in a affirmative statement but telling that you are agree and neither in the case of you are agree but in a negative form. I don't know if it is like a, a little bit clear or if everything is clear for for yeah. using it. Yeah, huh? it's clear. Okay, yeah. thank you. I don't know Jeff, is yeah. What is G? I G I'm not. G this this is my case. The in this case G is like a like an idiom, like a G I'm not. It's like when you say, bueno, yo tampoco. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's like an also a, a like a, a a disagreement, but in in, in negative, like a G and not. Como bueno, yo tampoco, o como en el famoso en español, ¿y qué la vamos a hacer? <laughs> <laughs> that might be the okay. case. G, G and not. Okay, mm -hmm. that might be that might be the case. Okay, guys, uh, we have to move to our, our last slide and see what we have because we are running out of time. Let me see. Okay, what we have right here. Let me see, move this right here. We have, uh, we're going to match the, the phrases. We're going to match the phrases from the A column to the B column. Okay, giving short responses. We have the number one, I don't like. Making coffee for my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Making coffee for my boss. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, making going on. And you, you say, boss, if you know that I don't like even uh, make my coffee for myself, how am I going to do it for you? <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I'm not very good at. Learning language. Yeah, learning, learning language might be a. Uh, and a good choice. Thank you. Let's see the number three. I'm good at at working with a team. Working with a team, yeah. Working with a team. And you always spend the whole day fighting with your team. <laughs> okay, what about the number four? I hate Solving problems. Solving problems. Yeah. I think nobody likes having problems in this case. Well, number five, I can't stand. Hmm? Sitting, sitting, sitting. sitting in meeting. 
sitting in meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is difficult being a lot of time sitting uh, at, the, uh, at chairs. Okay, let's see number six. I interest in... Mm -hmm. Learning language. Learning language. Learning okay. language. Okay, thank you. I don't mind. I don't mind what? I don't mind, don't mind, mind some big problem. No, this one we already. Problem, problem. I don't mind. I don't mind. We already, we already select this one, organizing my time. Me? Uh, organizing my time? Ah, you, okay. you, 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 you help us with that one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't mind what, guys? Oh. Which one? Talking on the, on the phone. Yeah, talking on the phone. That is the one that uh, we had in use. Thank you. I enjoy... Organizing my time. Organizing my time. Yeah, I also enjoy organizing my time because I wake up. After I wake up, I go to the bathroom. I take my shower. After I take my shower, and I, it is like a, my my daily routine from Monday to to Saturday. <laughs> That's why we we must organize our time because in order to be on time at work. Okay, let me see. Well. Guys, this was everything for today. I don't know what is going on with the uh, with the other ones. I don't know what is happening. If they have like a some issues, uh, remember, guys, if you have some inconvenience, some problems uh, before starting the class, let me know. Send, send me a message and. And text me telling me, teacher, I cannot be connected uh, in your classes for this and this and this. Uh, Idalia was telling us uh, that she broke up uh, her camera, and that's why she was having some issues with with her cell phone. If you have your camera broke, uh, how you can uh, have your camera on, right? And in the case of the other one, we we are not sure about what, why they didn't get connected, but I hope tomorrow uh, we are going to have the, we are like at 23, 24, right? I hope the, the other one, I, we have eight missing, eight missing. From the one that we are here today, you already complete the this week uh, in the platform. I don't know who already finished the 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 whole exercise in the platform. We finished. You, Chris, you already finished, teacher. Okay. Everybody finished the platform. Oh wow! You are amazing, guys. You are amazing. I congrats you <laughs> for doing that. Well, uh, I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. Uh, please take care. Have a good night. Um. Well, we are going to try to to continue with the classes tomorrow at night. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Okay. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay. Take care. See you. Bye-bye, guys.